Chapter 9 The Storm is Coming Endless clouds that boil with destruction began to manifest miles away, deep in the haunted sky. A warm, humid wind filled the atmosphere with unsettling presence of something evil. A dense fog brought in a light, misty rain. The storm is coming. With a full bucket of flesh, meat, and bloody organs, Jason rushed out into the calm before the storm. His destination was of course the well, which was on the opposite side of the mountain. He knew this wasn't going to be an easy journey, sensing the storm in the air already. Fate or God is waiting for him to condemn him for killing his children like a heartless monster. As Jason noticed the incoming storm, he realized that he must hurry to the well. Isabella would be proud of him. This is what kept him motivated. He was not an evil man. He had intense remorse for what he had done. But his thoughts were provoked by this dark, twisted love for his witch. She had become his god now. From his cabin, a brisk, nervous walk led him to the entrance of the cornfields. An endless three-acre maze, and it would be getting dark soon. He knew this maze inside and out. He was the one who built it. But it all seemed different now. He pushed through the corn maze, careful not to spill the contents of the bucket. He heard children laughing with a haunting evil that sent nerves of ice into his spine. Shadows glitching in his peripheral vision caused massive waves of poisonous anxiety. As he drove himself forward through the impossible maze, he felt as if he was being watched, being followed. Almost unable to breathe, Jason had one thing on his mind, getting to the well. An hour and 15 minutes later, he could see the exit ahead. The ground began to shake and violently roar beneath each step he took. With the corn maze behind him, Jason was now faced with an extensive vintage bridge that was falling apart more and more each day. This is the only way to get across the polluted swamp. The journey had just begun. He must cross the bridge that led to the abandoned, possessed church. Then he must creep through the cemetery which leads to the evil well. Intimate thoughts about Isabella flashed into his subconscious. Her scent filled the air in his mind as he stepped on the first broken plank of the bridge floor. The anticipated storm was closing in. The humid, stale air grew cold and harsh. The bridge was about a mile long and he could not see the end from here. One step at a time, he carried his precious bucket with caution. The boards under his thick combat boots began
began to break as he shuffled across. The green, brown water was as high as the bridge, submerging some parts of the walkway. Cussing to himself, Jason rushed his pace, afraid that he might slip and end up in the swamp. He still felt that he was being watched from behind. Voices and dark, twisted murmurs echoed on the lips of the wind. Shadows still forming, and a storm that was about to wreak havoc. Fair compelled him to run the rest of the way. Exiting the bridge, Jason was soaked from the swamp-covered walk. He made his way toward the haunted, abandoned church when he saw a group of children playing on the front steps. They stopped and stared at him before speaking. Before the night is through, we will eat you alive. Paranoid, Jason felt like something was behind him, so he quickly turned around to see another crowd of children. He was surrounded. They each had rusted razor blades and began slicing the back of his legs, one at a time, over and over again. He was thrown to the ground by his excruciating pain. The bucket of flesh and organs was dropped and spilled onto the church's grass. He needed to make it to the well by midnight. He was running out of time. It was probably already too late. The elaborate sky opened and rain began to penetrate the earth. The storm is here, Jason thought to himself. The shadows disappeared, then voices, the laughter, all silenced. Bleeding profusely, he managed to get to his feet. In desperation to get to the well. Gathering the spilled flesh of the pieces of his children, he was now faced with the cemetery. In total darkness, he walked where the dead walk. Limping through the graveyard, he saw demon beings peeking from behind each grave that he passed. Some of these dark beings reached out, pulling at Jason's bloody plant legs. He found the exit up ahead. In the large, empty, circular field stood the head of the well. But it was not alone. It was surrounded by thousands of the children of mourning. <laughs>